Okay, so I am in the parking lot of Aldi about to go in and do some grocery shopping. But before I grocery shop, I have to have something to eat. I've only had breakfast and it is 3.52. I do not go grocery shopping without eating. So I made a stop over at Wingstop and I got me some dry lemon pepper. If you from Georgia, you know you got all the different types of wings. These are dry lemon pepper. I got some celery and carrots, some ranch and some blue cheese. So I'm going to show you my little lunch and then we're going to go in and shop at Aldi. All right. Oh, and I have to get the all drums. And I have some celery and carrots too. So I'm just going to eat my little lunch before I go in. And then I'm going to get what I need from Aldi and then head over to Sam's Club. Okay, so I'm done at Aldi. I spent $155.84. Um, and that's where the majority of my money is going. I'm going to try to show y'all um is here at aldi um i did have to pick up a few things that were not on my list for my son i will show you the haul when i get back but here's the funny thing i went to aldi i had my quarter i wrote down everything that i needed to get from aldi i did all the things but y'all i forgot my aldi bags so i had to buy three and i would have bought more but those were the last three that they had if you don't know if there's no aldi in your area you have to have a quarter to get a buggy and then you have to bring your own bags and i forgot my bags i had to buy bags and they were three bags at 10 cent each was 30 cent so i am now on my way to sam's club to get the few things that i need to get from there and yeah i'll be back when i'm done there okay here's my here is my haul from aldi sam's kroger publix i think that's it aldi first then i went to sam's then i went to kroger then i went to publix all right, so got some sour cream for some recipes. Got two cartons of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna go over the stuff that has to be put up first. Got one bag of shredded mozzarella. Got uh, one container of half and half. Some whole milk for my son. I got four packages of cream cheese. Some Simply Apple Apple Juice for my son. Some Diet Blackberry Sweet Tea. And some Diet Regular Sweet Tea. These two are for my husband. Got some Broccoli Stir Fry. That's for a recipe. Got some Coleslaw Mix. Rice Cauliflower from Sam's. I think it's like... There's four bags of it in here. California medley vegetables. Butternut squash. Two bags of that. Some frozen collard greens because sometimes you want collard greens and you don't want to pick them or clean them. You just want to pour them in the pot. Got some spinach got some toaster strudel for my son this is the what kind is this cream cheese and strawberry he wants me to make that for him right now and <laughs> got him some whole fruit watermelon fruit bars got him some ego pancakes he just decided he doesn't like waffles anymore out of the blue so I'm gonna see if he eats these pancakes all right, got some low carb solar bread. This each slice only has two grams of net carbs. Um, and my husband likes that one. All right. Got some keto butter pecan ice cream. Now this, I, I hope this happened in the car because I know it wasn't like that when I bought it. But yeah, this is butter pecan. And I also got coffee chips so this is like coffee ice cream with chocolate chips in it um got some al fresco uncured chicken bacon two packages of that both my husband and my son like this this is their favorite um let me see is that all my cold stuff yes i'm gonna put my cold stuff up and then i'm gonna come back with the rest
got some whole green beans. They give you five bags in here. Got these on hand. And then they give you four 16 ounce bags of the broccoli florets. Or florets. I never say that right. Got some raw frozen jumbo shrimp from Aldi. Got some wild caught salmon from Sam's. It's six of these. What's this? It's flavored. It's like seasoned. Marinated. It's just marinated. It's really good if you've never tried it. It's really good. They come in these little individual packets and it's already got the seasoning. It's delicious. So got some of that. Now, I think that's all of my frozen stuff. So I'm going to put these up and then I'll come back with the rest. Four boxes of organic low sodium chicken broth. This came from Aldi. I got some 100% fruit juice juice boxes for my son as well as the 100% fruit juice apple juice for my son. These are from Aldi. Got my son some assorted fruit snacks. This box was like less than $4 and it has 28 pouches in it. Let's hope that he likes it. I wanted to try out this ratio keto friendly vanilla dairy snack. I guess it's supposed to be like yogurt, um, but it only has two grams of carbs in the whole thing. And I, I'm going to see if this could like replace breakfast for me because I could pop that in my lunch bag and eat it at work. I got some flaxseed meal um, because I was looking at a recipe that called for some flaxseed meal. I thought I had some. I did not. That was pretty cheap at Aldi. Got some coleslaw mix. I think I already showed y'all that. Got the cheddar wisp. That came from Publix. The Parm Crisp Original. And this is, yeah, the cheddar. Parm Crisp Original for cheese. Parm Crisp Keto. This is new. This is the simple truth. So it came from Kroger. This is three seed keto cheese crisp. And it's made with sunflower, flax, and pumpkin seeds. This is the cheddar keto cheese crisp. These, I believe, were either two for four dollars or two for five dollars. Um, got some sugar-free jello cheesecake pudding. I am making my cheesecake dip again. Um I made it for us this week. My husband really liked it, so I'm going to make a video showing you how I did that. I'll show you the recipe that I used. I got the idea from Keto with Sammy, and then I found a recipe on Pinterest that was very simple. Got some Swerve Sweets. This is a chocolate cake mix. My husband enjoyed this when I made it. Oh, wait. I think he did. I don't remember. I think he liked it. My son is running around now. So we're going to make this for sweets. If you are wondering why I have this keto-friendly and sugar-free stuff, my husband and I, hold on, John John, don't do that. My husband and I are on a mission to lower his A1C. So we are following a lower carb diet, uh, not the keto diet, but we do use a lot of keto friendly things, but we are following a lower carb diet, trying to cut out sugar and white rice, white potatoes, white flour, you know how that goes. So we've been uh, trying a lot of the sugar free stuff that is out on the market. Uh, we love these, so I got four of them. This is the Lily's Milk Chocolate Style Peanut Butter. These are the uh, peanut butter cups that are made with stevia and not sugar. And all the Lily's products are made with stevia and not sugar. Got some Country Time Lemonade to put in my water. Um, mix into my water. And got my husband some Crystal Light Peach Iced Tea to mix in his water. Got some sugar-free grape jam uh, for us to have on toast which I got keto bread too I'll show you guys that got some mini muffins the confetti cake kind for my son he likes the little bites brand but I saw these at Aldi they were cheaper so I picked them up hopefully he likes them also for my son got two boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese the normal you know in the blue box no judgment please <laughs> please uh got my son some goldfish uh the regular goldfish yes my kid eats goldfish 
All right, got some of this keto-friendly bread from Aussie. I already showed you guys the Sola bread, but I also got this one too. This one, to me, toast up better in texture. It tastes more like toast, but it's not as, the flavor is not as good as the Sola bread. So the texture, to me, is better on this, and the flavor is better on the Sola bread. My husband doesn't really care for this one, but I think I kind of like this one better than the Sola. Um, got some prune juice for my son because regularity, real life here. I uh, got some zucchini for recipes. Some organic coconut oil for recipes. Got two cans of diced green chili peppers for recipes. Got a nice big bag of fresh lemons. Like I said, I'm hoping that this grocery haul lasts me the whole month. So that should be another lemons. My husband requested grapes and I got this big, huge bin from Sam's. Oh, I hope they taste good. <laughs> got some tri-colored peppers. I got two bags of those for recipes. I'll show you guys my meal plan. We'll see where I have to use that. Got a bag of Italian salad. Husband requested that. Two bags of cilantro. Got a big bag of limes. I like to make a lot of cilantro lime stuff. You'll see that in my meal plan. Got some fresh jalapenos because everything is good with jalapenos. <laughs> Got some sweet onions. Some gala apples. Most of my produce, by the way, came from Aldi. And these gala apples are from Michigan. Yay! Just like me. <laughs> I um, got some mini avocados. I don't know how they're mini, but I'm just going over the produce now. Got some blackberries. These were actually only 99 cents at Aldi, so I got two of those. Got some Boston lettuce for a recipe that I'm making this week. And I think that is all my produce, so I'm going to put it all away, and then I'll come back. Okay, I am back. So I got two non-food items, maybe more, but these are what's out. Uh, this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath, Relax and Relief, and some Caress Daily Silk Body Wash for me. All right, now I'm going to go over the meat that I got. I got from Aldi, uh, 5.2 pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast it was only 189 a pound so that was a great deal so these 5.2 pounds was only nine dollars and 87 cents i got um now this is crazy right these are chicken thighs chicken thighs are normally ch uh cheaper than chicken breasts but these boneless skinless chicken thighs were 249 a pound so for 2.16 pounds which is 2.2 I paid five dollars and thirty-eight cents. I also got from Aldi some bone-in skin on chicken thighs. These were one twenty-nine per pound. So for three point four six pounds, I paid four dollars and forty-six cents. I got two two point five pound packages of Jenny O ninety three seven ground turkey. This came from Sam's Club. And this bag is a whole chicken. And it was, let's see. This one was 99 cents a pound. So this was six pounds for six dollars and one cent. A little over six pounds. Alright, so that was the meat that I got. Um, I got two bags of low-carb tortillas because they are our favorite things. Got three packets of less sodium taco seasoning. Both of those came from Aldi. Got some pure vanilla extract from Aldi. Got some spaghetti for my son because he loves spaghetti. Got raw mixed nuts for my husband. These are raw cashews, walnuts, macadamia nuts. All of this came from Aldi. Got some premium marinara sauce from Aldi. I got this one because the other sauce brands had a lot of sugar. This one only has 7 grams of carbs and 4 grams of sugars and no added sugars. 
All right, that was from Aldi. Also from Aldi, got some gingerbread coffee and some white chocolate coffee. Very excited about trying those out. So that uh, came from Aldi. Got some chunky blue cheese dressing from my husband from Aldi. Got this almond butter from Sam's. I could not find any almond butter at Aldi. That was only almonds and salt. But this one, as you can see, the only ingredients are almonds and salt. All right, now I'm going to walk around to my other part of the haul, which is the big, big stuff. All right, so here I got some sparkling water. This is the passion fruit kind. Got this from Aldi, so a 12 pack of that. Got another 12 pack of sparkling water. This one is lemons. Actually got two. 12 packs of the lemon sparkling water got that from Aldi they were about $2.40 a box and that's like the best deal I'm not very picky about sparkling water at Sam's I got my son a 24 pack I think this is 24 is that right yes 24 pack of the Pediasure grow and grain grow and gain with fiber so he already has a couple in there now um, so I'm thinking with two a day, that should last us. <laughs> with two a day uh, of the Pediasure, that should last us, let's see, two a day for 14 days would be 28. Um, and I think he already has three or four in the refrigerator. So we should be good for two weeks on that. This was not my first choice at all. You can only get, that. this is the only paper towel they had at Kroger and they only allowed you to get one pack because here we go again. <laughs> we are back to the shortage of toilet paper and paper towels. So I just had to get what I could get. So I got those three packs of very cheap uh, paper towels from Kroger. Also got my favorite brand of tissue. I know that most people would think that Angel Soft sucks, but this is the only toilet paper that I like. I love Angel Soft. I don't want to buy any other kind. I hate Charmin. I hate Northern. I hate Cottonelle. Um, so got some Angel Soft. Think this is enough to last for the rest of the month. From Sam's, I got a 35 can pack of Coke Zero. No judgment, please. Uh, we drink Coke Zero. Got from Aldi a 24 pack of water, bottled water. And from Sam's, I got a 24 pack of this sparkling water, which is like the sparkling ice, but it's way cheaper. So, that was my grocery haul from, again, Publix, Aldi, Sam's, and Kroger.